I am freaking ready to knock the socks off my feet at this weekend's Ironman. This video is going to show you where I was and where I am now after 200 hours of work, which equates to 24 weeks, six months of Complete Racing Solutions, Coach Rob Beam's half Ironman distance protocols. It's It's been a journey. And absolutely the first thing that I want to go over is I'm not planning on winning my age group. I'm 33 years old. I'm planning on finishing. This is something that's been in my head where I didn't know if I could do this. I didn't know if I could do this. If you guys have followed my channel, if you're new, I used to be a professional dirt bike rider and I've got a lot of injuries. I've got a grade three separated shoulder. I've got... Gosh, I tore my axillary nerve on this, which makes it hard to swim. I've got drop foot in my right foot, which kind of makes an anchor for swimming. I've got two big rods in my left leg. So, you know, things were things were somewhat against me. There's lots of bolts and screws and lots of silly stuff going on. Uh, for the longest time, I couldn't even walk. And I had to wear an AFO brace. And then I decided, hey, I'm, I'm going to start trying to get back into it because training for me has always been about getting in the zone and having endorphins being released. You just feel better about yourself when you're taking care of yourself. And I used to train just to almost like to drink to get messed up. You train so that you can push yourself to that limit. And I can't do that anymore. And I needed a goal because training, going into the gym, I didn't feel like there was a purpose to it. And so I kind of started letting myself go. I was kind of giving up on myself a little bit because I'm like, hey, I'm never going to be able to run a, a five-minute mile again, which, by the way, a few weeks ago, I ran a 445, which is amazing. With, Like I said, for me, I am that... 152 pounds is what I'm sitting at right now at 5'9". Not incredible numbers, but for me, that is incredible because of my past, because of my experiences. And so this has just been a journey to do something, to have a goal and obtain it because that's what life's about. Life is about setting a goal and striving for it. And once you hit that, not settling again, striving for another one. Yes, there was a time in my life when I was like, winning was it. You had to do that. If you did it, it wasn't good enough. For me, what's good enough is finishing. So here are some of my times that I'm projected. Like this is my kind of worst case scenario, what I'd be happy with finishing wise. And that is a swim at two minutes per 100 meters. You know, to me that that might be a little bit on the, the fast side. And then for the bike, an average... 18 miles an hour, which I think is doable. I haven't seen the course. I know it's rolling. We'll see. It's through the town. There's variables that could happen there, but I'd, I'd be happy with a three-hour bike. And then a half marathon, nine minute a mile. Yeah, I know I am can go much faster. My best time is right around 129. So after all this stuff, I'm going, mm, that might be, that might be decent. And what I will shooting for is I'm shooting for still same swim, right? If I could even get down to maybe a 149 pace, you know, that would be amazing. I would be so stoked to do that. I know when I'm pushing, I can swim right around 144, but that is that is pushing for me because like I said, I got a lot of, I got a little anchor behind me because it's hard to move my ankle. I can't feel it and because of the drop foot, I can't lift it up. So it's it's kind of stuck as <laughs> a rudder, unfortunately. The bike, I've done better times at around 24 miles an hour, but that wasn't after a swim. And I know my Maffetone, and I know I can run under eight minutes a mile uh, in zone two. So this is projected. If I could get under five hours, let's let's move that back so that I know exactly what I'm going with. Oh, that's, hopefully I'm not running, swimming like that. But if I could get under that, I'd be incredibly effing 
stove. So what is the course supposed to look like? So here in the lake, it's just going to be a simple 2,100 meters there and back. And then the bike course. And if you guys want to follow me, they've got the little Ironman app where you could track to see <laughs> how slow I'm going in my age group. Like I said, not trying to set anything on fire. I have my own personal goals, so I'm not comparing myself because comparison is the theft of joy. If you want to be successful in life, the only thing you need to compare is to your past, and my past was fairly bad, so I've got my expectations are set very low, so I need to leave this race proud of myself. The bike is going to be three loops, and it kind of goes back and forth. You know, you do some U-turns up here. And then the run is going to be two loops, which is just kind of around the lake, which is which is kind of cool. Totally cool for sure. Uh, now, what we need to get into is my nutrition and where I have been. So first off, okay, this is my heart rate zones where I'm currently in. And the last time I did a max heart rate test on the bike was a little while ago. Um, I, I should have done another one, but there was, I ended up getting sick. You know, I ended up getting COVID again. And so I ended up missing part of that week. That's why I, like I said, you know, it was anywhere between five to 10 to 11 hours of work a week. So where I'm planning on racing is heart rate 146 to 162. Um, I have adjusted this for what my resting heart rate, uh, when I woke up this morning on my garment, it was actually at 39. I will readjust these once I the race is actually here. You know, like Saturday, I'll readjust these so I know and I'll plug them into my watch. And so I am not supposed to get over one, basically 63 I got to stay within that race thing to make sure that I'm I'm surviving. This is going to be a race zone three for me. And for the run, that to me means that I'm going to be between 155 and 170. No higher than 170. I know my lactic threshold is right around the 170, 175. And right now for me, that's around 630 to 645 miles, which is crazy, crazy that I have come that far because... In my Maffetone test with Coach Rob is I've gone from, with Maffetone as you're staying within zone two, it's typically 180 minus your age. Uh, but for me, you know, Coach, we've gone over all these analytics. He's made these for me. So if you're looking for something, I have the link in the description so that you can help sign up and get this data because knowing data is perfect. I know sometimes when I go over zone four in a workout and I was really supposed to stay in zone three, the whole week is kind of messed up. It, it is very crucial to have this data and have it accurate, accurate, not just guesstimate, not just guesstimate, but my Maffetone staying in zone two. When we first started this six months ago, I was running right around 11 minute miles to keep my heart rate between 137 to 155. It was awful. I felt like there's no point in doing this. This is why am I even doing this? Right. And I can happily say today, from 11 minutes, I have gone down to 740 to eight minute miles. That is huge to keep my heart rate that low. I am, I am baffled at how much of an improvement I've made over six months from this training. I am so stoked. I wish I had this kind of data and this plan when I was a much younger man. I was in my 20s. There's that saying, young, dumb, and full of cum. Yeah, I felt like nothing could go wrong. And every time I really felt that way, something happened. ACL tore, broke my elbow, my wrist, something, right? That's just, that's just kind of how it brings you back to <laughs> level playing field, level ground, where you're like, oh, I'm not actually invincible. But it was tough for me to just succumb to coaches ideologies and his program I was like hey I kind of I feel like I know what's best I've done my own training program for my entire life I am I know better I know better but you know what talking with my wife and everything it's like nope if you're gonna jump into this let's do this right and here okay now that I, I've kind of digressed a little bit let, let's go over some of my time trials okay so should we start with the swim so 500 yard swim uh at the beginning you know 
when I really got into a pool because I was using my backyard pool for a while and it's really only 10 meters. So it gave me all sorts of dumb numbers and it inflated my ego to where I didn't think I was that bad of a swimmer. So once I actually joined a gym to get the pool, uh, I was fairly slow and I've gotten much faster, much faster. I've gotten much faster. Like I said, you know, right around 144 is right around that, that pretty good time for me. And swimming has been scary swimming has been the hardest thing for me and that's why i wanted to do this iron man so much because i know i can ride a bike i know i can run at least you know i've learned to run because when i started off my my entire right foot is numb okay so these aren't excuses this is just me going you know what you effing rock mr hopper because you have come over a bunch of stuff. You know, I literally, my wife in the ICU, when I did this silly dealio with all this mumbo jumbo, they were trying to get me to sign paperwork to take my leg because it was, it was in bad shape. It was in very bad shape. And my wife fought and she got the surgeries. Anyway, it was a long story. She would not sign it. She would not let me sign it. And I'm so happy because today I can run with my daughter and I can complete an Ironman, right? This was in 2017, so it's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a journey for me. It's been a growing journey as an individual, right? As a father, as a husband. And I am much happier where I am now than what I was during those those times that I will never, ever, ever freaking forget. Uh, but the the mind does something that's crazy where, yes, I, I am going off topic on a tangent here, but you know what? That's This is full circle, full circle. The mind has an amazing thing of you could go through so much pain, but at the end, if there's any somewhat of leftover pleasure, you will do it again. You'll do it again. That's why athletes, when they get knocked down, and they'll say, I, I quit. I'm never going to do it again. They end up getting back to doing it again. How? Women go through childbirth and then end up having two, three, four children, four plus, whatever, right? They do it again because of the little bit of pleasure that comes afterwards. Anyway, that is the swim. The bike time trial, we're doing 10-mile uh, time trials. Uh, first one I did was in 27 minutes. Second one was in 26. And the last one was pretty much 25 minutes even. My uh, FTP has gone up. I'm right around 3.7 kilograms a, a gram. So I'm, I'm right around, uh, what is that, like 240 watts um, for my FTP, which I started off at 180. If, if I could show you pictures of what that did to my leg, it very atrophied, very small. Uh, those numbers aren't incredibly impressive, but for me, they have drastically improved just like my running ability as far as the time trials, where now uh, my four mile time trial is right at 26 minutes where I was at 30. And that was, that was it, it, massive, massive improvement. So with all of that, let me get on to nutrition and talking with my coach, we're going for 300 calories every hour and I've, I've got these honey stingers, I got these energy chews, I got these cliff block dealios, I got these uh, goos uh, that this one has 100 calories so you're saying like you got to take three of these suckers Every hour, the blocks, it's going to be a pack and a half. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, pack and a half every hour. I haven't checked about this stuff, but that's going to make myself sick. It's going to make myself freaking sick. And guess what? Coach Rob has this stuff, which is liquid gold. I didn't realize how essential this formula is. And this is his just pure energy fuel. And this sucker has everything I need for the entire Ironman, where I don't even need to take any of this stuff. All I need to do is consume two scoops of this stuff, 20 ounces of water every hour. That is all I freaking need. 
and I can't drink this while I swim, but beforehand, this stuff is amazing. And if you're wanting any of this stuff, all you have to do is go to coachrobstore.com, go to his products. He's got a bunch of nutritional bundles, exercise, but here, I'm just going to, since I'm talking about the energy fuel, this is the stuff is one to three hours of moderate to high intensity. You've got many different stuff for different types of performance and sports that you are looking for. And this is here, boom, the 242 calories. You've got all sorts of everything you need as far as sodium and the grams of carbs. This stuff is amazing. My favorite flavor is I like watermelon and I like pink lemonade. Those are the bomb. I have tried lemon lime, which is pretty good. I've tried fruit punch, which is pretty good. Uh, Cranberry, not a huge cranberry fan, but those are my freaking favorites. Remember, go to coachropstore.com. And in closing, I am just belated, really, at I have the ability. I have the pleasure to somewhat panic in the water, to have those emotions go through, to feel alive. That's, again, what riding and racing a dirt bike did for me, was it it put me in the zone. And will I do multiple Ironmans? I don't know. We will see. But you know what? I am sure as hell going to enjoy this one, and I've enjoyed the process of running hundreds of miles with my daughter in a stroller and coming from swimming in open water at 50 meters feeling like I was going to drown to then being able to do a full distance half Ironman and not break a sweat. Like the journey has been incredible. It's not about the destination. It's always been about the journey. And I appreciate all of you guys that have been here and have seen my journey. You've seen my confidence and my content and its sway and go. Because you know what? We're all freaking human. And sometimes you guys have got to give yourself a break. So until next time, I want to always end with saying keep it WFO and, and thank you.